Hey teachers, today I'm making a video for you so I can share some tips for editing your pre-recorded or asynchronous lessons using the iMovie app. We are going to learn how to trim video, add audio, do a picture in picture as split screen, as well as how to add cool transitions like this. So after you import your video, from your iPhone to your desktop, it's time to put it in iMovie, and that is this purple star right here. So I'm going to click iMovie, and these are all the projects that come up, but you're gonna go up here to create new, and then you click movie. I suppose you could click trailer, but I've never done that, and one new thing at a time, am I right? So I am gonna, go down here to the video that I just imported and I'm gonna drag it, oh, there it is. I'm gonna drag it and drop it to where it tells me to drag and drop, okay? Now you can see this video is not ready to go in the square here. So I'm gonna go to this tool here, I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna drag it to where I see myself smile. Oh, she's ready, and I let go. And now I've just cut that clip in iMovie. So that's one trick that you can trim your videos in iMovie. This clip is a video of me introducing quarter rest. And to make that more fun to watch, I'm going to add some audio. So I'm gonna to go to the top left to audio and usually if I clicked it, this would be blank and I could search here for what I wanted uh, from my iTunes library or from my desktop. But these are already up here because those are the ones I've been using. So I'm gonna pick Feeling Good Jazz and all I did, I dragged and dropped it to the bottom of my video. And it might be hard to see, but there's a little yellow line, a border around the audio and that means what we're working with the audio. So if I cut anything, I'm not gonna cut the video, I'm only gonna cut the audio. What I am gonna do is go up here to the top right to where you see the little speaker icon, and I'm gonna turn that volume down from 100 to about 20 so that it doesn't overpower what I'm saying. So now you can hear what this sounds like. Our third rhythm is called a quarter rest, and it looks like this. All right, what does it look like? We need to now add a another special effect, which is called picture in a picture. So the first thing is, I just said in the video, quarter rest. So I want to show a, a quarter rest. That, I'm gonna drag and drop that. I have it here on my desktop. And I'm going to drag and drop it to where I said quarter rest. That might not be right, so let's see. This tool will let you move it wherever you want. And it lo looks like, looks like this. Boom, so as you can see this white line here, that's where we are in time. I'm gonna drag and drop my picture so it goes in right to that line and now that picture is gonna pop up when I say looks like this. The next thing we have to do since it's highlighted is make this picture longer so that it lasts in the video. With that picture still highlighted, go up to the top and you're going to hit this blue cropping icon. It's going to automatically go to Ken Burns. We don't want that. We want it to fit. After you make it fit, you click these two squares and this drop down will pop up. It will be on cutaway to start. You want to scroll down to picture in a picture. Boom. And now you can see it right there. It might be hard to see, but this is highlighted. There's blue dots around it, so I can drag and drop it to where I want it, and I can also resize it. So let's see what the timing is. We're gonna come back and press play. And it looks like this. Just like a quarter note or top. Great. So that's how you add picture in a picture. Another option you have is to split the screen. So half would be me talking and half would be the quarter rest. And in order to do that, I would make sure my picture was highlighted. So I just clicked on it. It's hard to see, but that yellow border is there. And now I'm gonna go back up to the two squares, click it, 
and here's that drop down. It's on picture in a picture, but we're gonna go to split screen instead. Now you notice that that obviously doesn't fit. Once you're in this feature, the picture is gonna pop up at whatever size you imported. So to work around what's happening there, I am gonna go back to the cropping tool and I'm gonna click this middle one, crop to fill, and that's gonna give me a little bit more control with what will be on the screen. So it doesn't quite fit, but it's pretty close. So that's now what they're gonna see on the side. And we'll go back here and show you. Third rhythm is called a quarter rest. And it looks like this. Just like a The last trick I want to show you that makes such a big difference in videos are transitions. And that button is found at the top near the middle of your screen. Click on it and you're going to see all the different kinds of transitions that you can choose from they're named after what they do. So I'm gonna click the spin in transition and I'm gonna drag and drop that to the spot after my last clip. And now what's gonna happen is whatever comes next, do you see how it's going to spin in like that? I'm gonna use this quarter rest picture because we already have it. And I'm going to bring my timeline cursor after the transition, paste it. I'm not sure why it went up there, but just drag it down, no big deal. And now you can see this cool transition. And there you can see how it spun in. I hope those five tricks make your life a little bit easier and recording and editing a little bit more fun. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye.